Hey everyone, it's Norm here from I Am Cars, and you are joining me for another delivery of a Lotus Elise. We're gonna get it unloaded here off the truck, take it for a little drive, and show you all about this cool little car. Oh, it sounds like it's got exhaust. It sounds pretty good. Yeah, it might have a exhaust system. It's got a single center exit pipe there. This one came all the way from Newfoundland, as you guys can see, which is an island all the way on the east coast of Canada. And this car was purchased right before the storm that happened. So it was kind of crazy that uh, I guess we bought it and then that whole whole place got like flooded a week later. So it was just good timing. And surprisingly, it's here uh, pretty quick. I think it was like two or three weeks since we bought it. This one's a uh, blue with a tan interior, six speed manual, not a five speed like the last one. And uh, we'll get it pulled off here, take it for a little drive, get it cleaned up. And then this one, we're actually gonna do a little review video on, uh, since we weren't able to do that with the last one, it sold so quickly, but we will definitely get that done on this one before it goes up for sale. Definitely looks black with the sun on it there, but get it cleaned up I, I forget what the actual blue is called but it's a pretty nice color I like it better than the red super nice car there was yeah out front's good there was less than a hundred of these sold in Canada from 2005 to 2010 so they're a super rare car this one's clean Carfax low mileage all stock becoming a super rare super rare breed here so welcome to our new 2006 Lotus Elise and welcome to our new microphones here. So hopefully you guys can hear me crystal clear. Before it was a little bit of a, a little bit of a struggle with the audio, but now, see look, I can go as far back. I can go inside and you guys could still hear me. Maybe we'll even try it out. I'll see you guys later. No, I'm just kidding. So anyways, this is our new 2006 Lotus Elise. Uh, you guys would have seen we had a red one uh, a couple weeks ago. That was a Euro spec car. This is a Canadian delivered car in a very nice blue with a tan interior. We'll just get Brant to pop in there with the camera. He can show you the tan interior. And then we will uh, walk you through some of the differences of the Euro spec and Canadian spec car. And we're gonna go for a little drive right now, but I'm gonna get Brant to stand behind and we'll give you guys a startup because this thing sounds really good, really good. So we'll fire this thing up still to be determined if it's got an aftermarket exhaust but let's fire it up here give it a bit of a rev so yeah it sounds much better than that previous uh 2005 so uh let's climb on board and we'll take this thing for a drive all right so we are on board the Lotus Elise, and like I said, this is a Canadian spec one, so there's quite a few differences uh, that we've noticed right away. Starting with, uh, you've actually got <laughs> vents here, which the previous one just had like some venting up on the front. That one actually does have defrost vent up there specifically, but this has actual vents, and let's try to put some on us. There we go start going cold so it's got um actual venting i don't think the other one had a stereo up there either so it's got a stereo it's got a push button start as opposed to a uh um, manual crank only this you still need to put the key in and luxurious power windows much nicer than that uh old crank in that um 2005 uh, leather seating surfaces like even all the trim here and everything this one does oh no that's power locks it's got power locks and then there was an option for traction control which was a button down here but it doesn't look like it has that so I believe the uh, leather seating surfaces power windows is part of what's called the uh, touring package in the Canadian market. 
like I said, from 2005 to 2010, I think they sold less than 100 of these in Canada, so they're a very rare car. And this one um, is a lot more special uh, than that Eurospec one, right? Anyone can go import a Eurospec one, but to find a Canadian delivered one, uh, accident-free with low mileage is pretty rare. This one's only got 39,000 K, so what's this, 15, 16 years old? So super low mileage. Other than that, it's, uh, yeah, it's got a little bit nicer buttons for your lighting. That's about it. This one, it definitely has a better sounding exhaust. I'm not sure if it's aftermarket, but it appears to be pretty stock to me. And uh, when we uh, get it open up on Deerfoot there, you should hear uh, some nice uh, pops and crackles and backfires. Are they also have aftermarket radios in So this is an aftermarket, but yeah. I've got the factory okay. one in the trunk so we're probably going to put the factory one back in this car so it just maintains complete uh, OEM status on this. It feels so much more responsive like the throttle than the other one just like even the shifting is like way quicker way smoother handling's about the same yeah handles really good get splashed with something I know. some Moisture off the roof. Handling is amazing. These tires are really good. I'm getting dripped on somewhere. Feels more responsive to me too. Higher uh, red line. It's got a much higher red line than the other one, like 9,500. <laughs> yeah, these tires do the car justice. Yeah, these tires make yeah. all the difference. Yeah. This car feels flat. We're definitely going to have to... Uh, the other one had aftermarket suspension. Yeah. It was way bumpier, way stiffer. Like, remember any bump? It was like... That's true. Yeah, <laughs> just right this is like room. way yeah. softer. Still uh, very hard relative to most cars, but way softer than the other one, which I like way more. What is that? Oh, Mustang. Thought it was something cool, but I guess Fords are cool, though. Fords are cool. <laughs> yeah, this is a sick car. So we're going to be doing a, uh, yeah, air conditioning's nice. The air conditioning worked good in the other one, too. We're going to be doing a... Clutch is way nicer in this one, too. We're going to be doing a um, full review video on the Lotus Elise coming very soon. I wanted to do one on the red one, but it sold so fast. So this one, we're going to make, uh, we're going to make this one a priority this week so we can get it out for the next couple days. Because this is like such a, it's such a good car and such a bad car, but the bad is what makes it good, if that makes sense. So it's like all the stuff that you don't like about it is what makes the car cool and desirable and valuable. So, and then obviously the good stuff is uh, the good stuff, right? So review video coming soon on this 2006 Lotus Lease. And it's going to kind of be like, um, almost let's title it like a, first time buyer's guide so it's going to be kind of walking through a little bit about the Elise uh, the power plant some of the different model variations they had from 05 to 10 values just simple stuff like that and then simply like what I like about the car and what I don't like about the car and again all the stuff I don't like about it is stuff that makes it cool so stick around for that all right so that was a quick uh, video drive in our new 2006 Lotus Elise, uh, yeah, you've seen the car. You've heard a little bit about this particular one, some of the differences between the Canadian and Eurospec Elises. Uh, like I said, stick around for a comprehensive first time buyer's guide on the Lotus Elise. We're gonna try to get that out this week for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's it. Let me know what you guys think of the car. Let me know what you think of the new mics here. Hopefully uh, that makes it a little bit more enjoyable for you guys to listen to. And uh, yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.
Thank you.